All right, look, um, I, I, I don't have much for you tonight. Um, it is very, very hard to watch this team right now. And it feels like last year all over again. I'm going to come right out and say it. It feels like last year all over again. And we just started January, and it already feels like last year again. It's, um... It's tough. I mean, it's everything that could go wrong so far this year has gone wrong. They had a 10-game losing streak. Coach got fired. Similar issues as last year defensively and things like that. Guys are not producing offensively. They're not scoring goals. They're not in a playoff spot. COVID, injuries. I mean, it's just, just a... It, it is a total mess watching this team right now. It really is, and I, I don't I don't have much to talk about from this game. I don't. This game should not have even been played. The Ducks played the Red Wings, and the Ducks had five guys in the COVID protocol, and that game was postponed. The Flyers had six, and the game wasn't postponed. It was Lake Tahoe 2.0. The Flyers went into that game without six regular players, lost that game seven three on national television. This game, without six regulars, lost 6-2 on a ESPN Hulu um, exclusive game. So, take that for, for what it is. Um, I think it's an absolute joke that the game was not postponed and the Flyers should have played this game at a later date. They did it before against Washington. You already saw a switch in the game with the Red Wings and the Islanders. I, I think it was ridiculous. And I think it was a pretty easy win for Pittsburgh, who was, again, coming in nine in a row, playing really good, Rodriguez playing well, and everything, again, that could have went wrong for the Flyers, and this game goes wrong. I mean, I, I'm just going to talk about the Lions. And Farabee, Lawton, Atkinson, Broussard, Frost, Van Riemsdyk, Bonneman, Hayes, Willman, Limblom, Brown, McEwen. Now, I know I talked about this on the podcast already today, but... The fact that Oscar Lindblom was playing on the fourth line to even start this game was a huge mistake. Um, Connor Bunneman on the third line, I don't understand it. Broussard's coming off of an injury and he gets put on the second line. It, it, it It's like the whole Kevin Hayes thing all over again. He coming back from injury, oh yeah, let's just put him right back on the second line. It, it, it makes absolutely no sense. And you're out with all these players. You have basically half of an AHL lineup playing. And um, yeah, it's... It's not fun, and I feel bad for Carter Hart, and I feel bad for a lot of these guys. You see the video of Farabee slamming a stick. It, it It's not fun. It, it really is not fun when you're getting your ass kicked, and it's just a repetitive cycle of this every single year, and I really don't know what to say anymore. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm lost for answers. Because this has been tough already, and it's January, and I don't know what direction this team takes. They they have legit zero identity, and I, I, I don't know what to say. And that's it. That's all I got. So let me know your guys' thoughts below. Uh, remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I don't know if the game on Saturday will be postponed or, or what, but we'll see there. Uh, remember to check out Buttons. You can use code PHI for 10% off. Also check out Garrett Crew Construction for any home improvement needs. Thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, talk to you all again soon.